Good day, YouTube, and welcome to... Oh, fuck. Another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, and uh, we have a beer. Where did I... Oh, right here. So this beer was donated to us by Devin, so uh, thank you very much, Devin. This is from Parallel 49, which is in Vancouver, BC. This is the uh, Gypsy Tears Ruby Ale. So, Gypsy Tears Ruby Ale is 6% alcohol by volume. Um, yeah, I guess we can save that cap. It's going to need a glass. Let's pull this one up. A little bit of smoke, but it's all hovering in the neck of the bottle, right about here. Sorry about the lighting. It's been a long time since I've done anything out of the bar. Just thought I'd do it. Uh, if I got rid of this sign, the lighting would be better, but I'm not going to. Um... As I was pouring it, it didn't look like it was going to be a good amber ruby, like a ruby color. Um, still not quite a good ruby ale. When I read ruby ale, I'm expecting a ruby red. Uh, it's a nice amber. It really is. It's like a, it's like Rickard's red color, if you're going to quantify it as another beer. I like Rickard's red. It's not a bad looking beer. It's hazy. You can't see through it, which is nice. Uh, nice off-white head. It's fairly large. Uh, not very viscous. I mean, it clings to the side of the glass, but it slides down pretty quickly, too. Um, hmm. Very, very malty. Very malty with a weird... Uh, well, I shouldn't say weird. It's very malty with a... Very apparent uh, hop profile. Mm, smells a little bit like grapefruit and a little bit like pine. I'm, I'm kind of smells like you know, like Cascade hops. Let's try it. Cheers, boys and squirrels. That's not what I expected. Um, going into a ruby ale, I expected a, a very, very malty beer. I expected a uh, beer with a lot of sweetness on the forefront. Instead, I got a lot of hops. A lot of hops. You get a touch of citrus, you get a touch of dirt, you get a touch of pine, a little touch of dish soap, and it almost overpowers your palate, in all honesty. I mean, it touches your tongue, you get all that hop flavor, it's, it's almost resinous, you get all the hops. You swallow it, back of your tongue you get the hops again, then your tongue almost goes numb. Uh, it, it really overpowers your, your palate, it's like it overloads it, it's like it can't figure out what it's tasting anymore. And you're left with a little emanating flavor of dirt, like uh, nice earthy, earthy hops, but it's, it's just strange because it goes from all the different hop flavors you can think of just bland and dirt like my tongue feels right now like I licked wax when I take a sip it's exploding with flavor but when I'm done it's like I licked wax and that all my taste buds are filled bang right there and it you can feel the carbonation bubbles attacking your tongue 
right before you lose all sensation of flavor. I think the only thing this beer is missing is a... Like, it smells very malty, but it doesn't have enough malt in it to balance the flavor. And I think that's the only thing it has going against it. It's a hot bomb, but not any of the hops I really like, in all honesty. Um, 6% alcohol. Cool bottle. You know what? I'll give it a 6. I mean... It's drinkable at 6% alcohol. It's just weird. It's very weird. Um, personally, you know what? I just gave it a 6, but I'm going to take that away. I'm going to give it a 5, because just that sensation left on your tongue is just too weird. It is. It's it's just strange. If it wasn't for that, like, if it didn't, like, overpower and overload my tongue to the fact that I don't taste anything, I wouldn't mind this. But it's just, it's flavor, nothing bitter emanation up the throat. It's, it's so... Five out of ten, thanks. Bye.